this is Thinking Critical. This is Wes here. And I want you to make sure before you do anything, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe because you got the fantastic Fatal J who knows everything YouTube and comic books and girls. You didn't know what Batman Incorporated was, sir. That's because I didn't care. Well, then you don't know everything about comic books, but I yes, do appreciate I do. the intro. <laughs> okay. I do appreciate the intro. Oh, my goodness. We lost Jimmy. We lost Jimmy that fast? We lost Jimmy already. He already abandoned you, sir. He just pulled a Ric Flair. <laughs> your sting. Dude, we, got, we, got, we got Skip. He on the phone. <laughs> what kind of video is this? Your computer just died? <laughs> what? No, no, no. My internet died. Your internet died? Yeah. Oh, man. No All right, we're going to take a slight intermission, and we'll be back when Jimmy's No, you ready. ought to keep this. Keep going and let, until he pop on. It could work out. All right, well, we can, okay, we cool. can go with All it. Right, two, two, three minutes, and we got Jimmy back. And we Two, three minutes, and we're getting Jimmy back. All right. Just, just All pop right. him back on. You could probably edit him back on. Let's keep it going. Yeah, that's why this, I said we'll take a brief intermission. I was going to edit it, and then he was going to be back. But you said let's keep going with it. Let's keep going. This is Wes Hill with Take the one, sir. This is we Fatal J and Wes. Is, this is Wes <laughs> and Fatal and Skip here with Thinking Critical, and we're going to discuss today the Snyder Cut, which is one of the most amazing, glorious, uh, groundbreaking, Oscar-nominated films that ever dropped in the history of mankind. Mr. Wes, what do you think about the story of this beautiful movie, sir? Well, I think it's essentially the exact same story of the first movie, but a little bit. Uh, cleaner as far as the way it's constructed. It's not quite as choppy as the Whedon Justice League movie. It's a bit bloated, but it's essentially the exact same story as we got before, but it is cleaner. This is the thing about it, and I want to just let everybody know. Justice League is still Zack Snyder movie. It's just that Josh Whedon added those fillers in there, like the stupid stuff when Are Flash... you talking about filler in reference to Zack Snyder's Justice League, which is so much so full of filler that my son cried? It's great filler, though. And I wouldn't even disrespect Mr. Snyder and say that's filler. That's great cinematography, sir. My five-year-old said, it's time to go back to SpongeBob, Dad. I can't take this anymore. Then he started crying. Yo, somebody started so crying when Steppenwolf was ripping Amazonians in half, killing horses, getting shot with arrows. That's not really a movie for children, sir. Well, don't you, you think? Correct on that, but yeah, uh, he got scared. He did not get scared. He was bored. He was so <laughs> bored. He wanted to cry. All right, Skip. What do you think? What was? What are your thoughts on on the story? Oh, he's still sleeping. Uh oh. Let's get the teams on the right side. That was a movie, if you want to call it a movie, that really wore movie. out its welcome. Why you sound like you're about terrible. to go through a wrestling ring? Why you sound like you're about to go through the ring? <laughs> Don't you realize right here? I'm the I'm I'm the I'm the Snyder <laughs> taker. I'm taking all y'all yes. Snyder cutters down. Okay, you don't you don't recognize the old school Undertaker? He said the Red. Snyder Taker. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Snyder Taker. All right. Taking you Snyder cutters straight to the dirt. <laughs> You're cool, because that was like the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. How dare you? Well, no one asked you, Jimmy. <laughs> you can do a lot of stuff on this channel and get away with it. Disrespecting the Undertaker or the WWE is not one of them. Yeah, I'm not disrespect. Then you should be talking to Skip. What are you talking about? That was a spot on I... impression of the Snyder Taker. <laughs> the Snyder Taker. The Sny okay. Okay. We'll just, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right, Jimmy, what are your thoughts on the story? Were, were you impressed of what, what Zack Snyder was able to do as far as improving the, the Whedon story? All right. He did his Snyder Taker. I'll say this. Do you smell what Snyder is cooking? Because holy shit, that movie was awesome, dude. Aren't you? Shouldn't it be what the crock is cooking? Because that's what he was cooking. The crock of shit. <laughs> we, we didn't ask Two for points. any of that. We didn't ask for any of that. No, that movie was awesome. It was literally like I said, I, I waited for it to drop at midnight. And I was just like, I can't wait. I can't wait. 
and then when I watched, sat down and watched it, and I actually really enjoyed the beginning of the first of the first Justice League, the Justice League. Uh, I liked how that opened. Well, you should like this one. It's the same movie. Well, I should <laughs> not like it not because it's it's better than the other one, and it's. How can it be the same movie if it adds two hours? Please tell me. That's that. a good question. Fatal J, how did he do that? How did he make the same exact movie with two extra hours of filler? Just That's deflecting. What I my question. Because it was some stuff that they never did use. They never some did filler? use. Some stuff no. they decided probably wasn't necessary for the, the, stuff for the movie. They, they, he, he had the movie. He had to leave the movie. And he had stuff that they didn't use. See, Zach, when he shoots movies, he shoots five, five or four hour worth of footage anyway. That's oh, his I thing. It's like thousands of hours. When he, when, what I'm talking about, he, he did it with 300. He did it with Watchmen. He did it with BVS Men of Steel. He normally always do four or five hours. And then the studio makes him cut it down. But this time around, they let him keep all the footage this time for this movie. I think people with normal attention you know attention spans probably weren't very happy that they let him keep all that stuff so it, it there certainly is tightened up i'll give him that there's some good things that happen in this well in this movie. i think the reason this movie was needed because this might be zach lad's hoorah which i don't think it, it it will be but let's just say it is then at i thought least- he had a zombie movie coming up army oh, of yeah, the yeah. dead yeah he now. got that coming out but what i'm talking about as far as dc movies Oh, it's and, over. It's 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 lights out, baby. This is nope. the curtains are down. Nope. And that's a wrap. The production is we over. We get the Justice League too, Jimmy. Don't worry oh, about we're it. We're getting a damn Justice League too with how oh, much this is being played. You're certainly not going to get it in a movie or on your What'd TV. What'd you say, a coloring book? <laughs> oh, and we're certainly not going to get the Snyder Cut too, Wes, but look what happened. Yeah, because Wes, okay. when I first met you, you said it didn't exist. You said it, it's not a good thing to exist. Say. He didn't have it together. He had to put the movie together. Why, why do you think it took so long? You and think the you movie think was just sitting there? Well, what you, and why do you think it took so long? Shoot all that crap. Do all they those gave him $70 effects. million. Dollars. It wasn't finished. Like, it wasn't okay. it was just a role that said Snyder Cut that was waiting to be put on HBO of Max. Course, of course, the whole movie wasn't finished because he had to leave. But what I'm saying is this. It was the most magnificent thing known to man, and you watched it. <laughs> <laughs> you watched it even though you knew you was going to hate it. Skip watched it even though he knew he was going to hate it. So Wes, we won. Wes, tell me Jimmy, that did we scene. win? Jimmy, we, we won. won. We, we won. won. We had the haters watching. Wes, tell you me that You just scene subscribed to where... HBO Max, sir. Skip <laughs> just subscribed to HBO Max. We no, no, won. no, 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 no. Okay, uh, no, no, no. I subscribed to HBO Max for Wonder Woman 84, okay? And I got what oh. I wanted. And I you like that better than the only- Snyder Cut? Hell yeah! Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, it's a lot shorter. Life could be better. Okay, That's you guys are out of your mind if you think Wonder you, that- Woman '84 is better than Snyder you Cut. Have- what what I gotta say. Did right, they okay. give you a free batch of crack with that movie? <laughs> that movie was awful. Yeah, 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 and I UPSed it to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I got to say about this movie. Is it a better version? Is it cleaner? Does the story make more sense? Does it flow better than the Joss Whedon Justice League? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I yes, enjoy the Joss Whedon Justice League movie because it's so much shorter that it didn't put my children into tears. You're, you're telling me. You're telling me you Too enjoyed long. the Justice League. I didn't enjoy either movie. They were both torture for me, but one of them was like <laughs> two, two and a half hours of torture, and one of them was four hours of slightly well, better production value torture which just let me got ask the holy bible of superhero movies in the snyder cut and then the other <laughs> one you got Man, you got a, what, a lot worse light up in flames or get hit by lightning with stuff like that <laughs> okay Wes, Look, well, let me ask you this I, I would, I would, I would, theme and you would test fate go for it but you know don't destroy my my stream here with it you're gonna you're gonna we're gonna get residual electricity you know, burning over on our stuff Wes, let me ask you a quick question though. What did you enjoy in the movie? It's the same question for Skip too. What All right, this is, this is what I thought was better. I like Steppenwolf, although I think it was superfluous and likely unneeded. But I, I did think Steppenwolf actually murdering people a little bit more. Uh, he looked a little bit more uh, vicious. I think that was a step up. Steppenwolf was absolutely a dreadful, boring, lame villain in the in the Whedon movie. And here he's, he's slightly less now so. Now he's the best. 
that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. This is a world where Thanos exists and Vul or uh, Vulture exists, and we've got Magneto, and we've got um, you know several other villains that have been great. Obviously, Heath Ledger's right. Joker. Let's 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 not get too. I meant too for the crazy DCEU. Here. He's the best in the DCEU. He's not in the DCEU. Who? The Snyder stuff has been in is yes, it is. Been annexed from the DCEU. Who is not in who who's not in the DCEU? Who are you uh, he's about? saying Steppenwolf's not in the DCEU. Not anymore. He's been removed. Is this associated with the DCEU moving Schneider forward? Schneider is Day? DCEU. Man, he is not the DCEU. Yes, he is. His well, name. When you started, man, the nothing story, associated with Zack Snyder's movies is in the DCEU anymore. When it's all you on started, <laughs> when, when you started, Man of Steel, you started the DCEU. It started with. It's all been right. scrapped. They're rebooting hey, it hey, with JJ Abrams and Tony Hesey Coates, so they can get a real Man of Steel. And that's gonna exactly. suck. Now you talk about hold sucking. on, hold on. So let me say hold this. On. Let, let, yeah, hold yeah, on, go no, ahead. hold go on. Ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. So it's gonna be rebooted with JJ Abrams, right? Yeah. Right, Wes. That's not out yet. So therefore, this is still canon. Whatever. Okay. So anyway, that that statement aside, Michael Sh Michael Shannon as Zod is leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds a better villain and and and, and portrayed that character far better than whoever that heck what's his nuts that and they got Dr. to do. Doctor Silvana from Jimmy. I got Shazam to give it the skip on that one. I kind I, of forgot about him. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I got well, interesting <laughs> because that's one of your favorite movies that I debate is a trash movie too. But you, <laughs> but you forgot your own. I didn't own, like your Ocean Master. That from your Ocean favorite? Is better than Steppenwolf too. So. No, 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 okay. I'll say this. Steppenwolf Black number Mantle two. Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf's two. Number one is Zod. Zod is fantastic. Steppenwolf's the bottom layer. That's the no. fecal matter on the bottom of your boot as far as comic book villains. A guy, a, a warlord who was just Hey, don't give lost. me the idea of what he could be. I'm talking about the execution <laughs> in the film. I'm so. not telling you what he could be. I'm telling you what he is. I'm no, saying he, a warlord he ain't lost. Worse than the DC. And so, you. And so uh, Dark Side just got rid of him. And so yeah, now we just he has had, to... What's her name? What's uh, in Wonder Woman 84? We just had... Cheetah, Mac yes, he's better oh, he, than he's Mac not Mac the He's not the worst in the DC. You as a I villain. just said he's better than Cheetah. Congratulations. No, not Cheetah. Think about uh the Enchantress Woman in Suicide Squad. Uh, think about uh Black her. Black Mass and Birds nice of Prey. You forgot about Black Mass and Birds of Prey. He was no, straight I hot doo doo garbage. Movie. You don't need to see it because it's hot trash doo doo garbage. Black Mass. Is is Ewan McGregor. Isn't it Ewan was McGregor? Ewan gonna... McGregor was better. Yeah. He was. What? He in was. I bet he wasn't the problem. Yes. Come on, man. Y'all reaching, it. man. Yes. <laughs> no, no, man. Look, it's okay. everybody's reaching. Like, it's you two across the screens on each other. Jimmy. Put it out there. Okay, Jimmy. Hey, you, hey, say, hey, who, who, you said Black Mass was, was okay in Birds of Prey? Uh, no, I said he was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, Remind me, was it Aries? Aries? And yeah. in, in one, one woman? Even Ares, even Ares was a better villain. At least it was he the was the original no freaking... Steppenwolf. You're he talking no... about Handlebar Ares with that stupid mustache? Oh my goodness, get that away from me. I couldn't he... stand to look at it. Hey, him. he was yeah, a good villain. Wait, wait, wait. Like, <laughs> I, it's funny to me that y'all are saying that someone like Patty Jenkins, who, who who's actually a... Uh, uh, who's uh, awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Didn't make a better film than a guy that can only direct CGI and can't even direct humans. The best movie that Zack Snyder ever made was Dawn of the Dead. And he had to have a great cast of people. 300? That have in that. You don't like That's 300? Not the best I didn't say I didn't like 300. I, I said like the best movie he ever made. I didn't say the only Zack Snyder movie that I like. The best Zack Snyder movie that he ever made was Dawn of the Dead. And he had a killer cast that he didn't have to direct. Remember, this guy comes from and a CGI James background. James Gunn wrote it for him. Y'all didn't like Watchmen? James Gunn wrote it. Y'all didn't like Watchmen? No. What, no, Watchmen is... What, 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 yeah, Watchmen is... I actually, okay. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead's good, but 300. I don't know a single person besides now you, Skip. I'm not really like into homoerotic cinema, man. It's just not my deal. I'm not going to lie. That was funny when he said he can't direct humans. That was pretty <laughs> <laughs> He can't. Look at look how much CGI he got to use and look how much he, all those special effects. Look, if I never see a smoldering blur effect ever again, it'll be too soon. This guy over you, I, I, his computers retired after they rendered this movie and exported it out. They said, look, I quit. I'm done. Okay, we can't no do anything else. 
Yeah, he, no he, his, one his, is the process is lit on fire. No one is touching Zach Snyder in the CGI game. Period. No one. He is no one. Of the best George in the game. Lucas. Did you watch the the prequel trilogy? That's yes. you know, that was like twenty long years time ago. ago. Like, That's over. I'm talking it's about better. now. It is better. It's still better. It's, it's and it was all those better. years ago. Yes, it yes. is. So you it's talking better. about that flash? That flash slowdown scene in the Snyder Cut wasn't good at all visually. No. I'm talking it's about awful. visually. This no, it was is awful and made worse so by the soundtrack. I'm if I never hear a Mumford and Son song <laughs> in a fucking movie again, I would be too sick. Okay, okay looking like he, looking like hey hey they they couldn't CGI him running better. Why can't he run? Skip. Now I I, I give it to Skip. The running is awkward. I hate the running so much. <laughs> <laughs> the one, and but besides the running, the movie was dope. Please tell me in that scene. Was it dope? Scene, was it really dope? We win with fooling yourself. They gave up. No, the movie was amazing, bro. Hey, in amazing. that scene where there's a flashback and green, we saw a Green Lantern go up against Darkseid. You didn't jump out of your seat going, "That's fucking dope." I yeah. saw a Green Lantern in the first Justice League movie. Exactly, it wasn't new. Okay, yeah, so you what forgot did y'all that too. What y'all think about Joker in the epilogue? Did y'all like that? Too. What y'all think about Joker? Terrible, horrible. I, I, I had, I had. That was the one thing that I had hope for in this movie. I love Jared Leto as an actor and as a musician. I'm talking about all the way to back to Fight Club days. It yeah. was just what about a the, waste. The ABC coming of age girl team drama that he used to do. Huh? My so-called uh, wife. Did you like that, Jared Leto? You can't, you can't just because we like him as an actor in one movie does not mean you can say, <laughs> "Oh, we like him in this movie." Jared Leto was dope as the Joker. What are you guys talking about? Jared Leto in this movie was a god. He was so good. Hey Batman! Yeah. Seriously. Hey Batman! You want to see a trick? Pick a card. Any? Oh, there's only one card. <laughs> the future Batman. Stop messing up the timeline. <laughs> Cut. Okay, I'm going back to my trailer now. Am I done? Cut the chat. You, you know. So you mean to tell me when that scene came on, it didn't have your full attention? You of know you was. Zoned, everybody he was. Said he was excited for it. It, did, it didn't deliver. Yeah. Oh, it delivered. Ten- it didn't deliver. Hello, like this. Like this Snyder cut size ass kicking that we're giving y'all right, right now. If it's not good, deliver. then why? Because is it... you point out minor flaws like the running that still don't affect the story. Now that is pretty funny how he runs. <laughs> yeah. I will admit that. But they yeah. made Ezra Miller flash less annoying and, in my opinion, better than it did in the Justice League. Oh he my gosh! Super... It, it was so yeah. stupid when he came out of his shoes and his bare feet messed up the concrete and that stupid song that they played. That's one of my favorite songs, by the way. The lady from um, the lady from Kodo Twins covered that in uh, in a This Mortal Coil cover. And they took one of my favorite songs and made it horrible. And then he's, oh, oh yeah. Let, let, oh, oh, sorry, guys. I, I got to take Quicksilver scene real quick. Oh, yeah. Yep. Here we go. And oh, look, she's smiling. Quicksilver. At me. That's how everyone who runs fast, that's how it is. Because time slows down when they run but fast. Do you run fast? How do you know? I'm just saying. That's We've just only... the theory behind it, though. That's science, bro. If you're running that fast, science. something's going to rip off. <laughs> All your... right, Fatal J. Here's some science for you. If you actually had the flash because of his sheer velocity and mass, not only would he like burst into flames. Let's say that you could actually get a suit that kept him from doing that. If he ran anywhere near you, you would shatter into Let atoms. Let me tell you something, sir. You see these cheap Walmart shoes? If I was running that fast, these babies would disintegrate. They already disintegrate. Yeah, but and I'm walking body, normal That's speed. I'm walking normal point. speed in these shoes disintegrating. So you mean to tell me that wasn't logical? That his shoes disintegrated? That was genius from the King Zack Snyder. But Bow his clothes down to Zack Snyder. Hold on, you you mean Zack Snyder? No, thank you. No, his <laughs> his clothes stayed on though, but but just not the shoes. And his feet didn't tear apart <laughs> in the cement. That's science, what? bro. His That's feet science. were planted in the ground. Obviously, he can't be butt just... naked on the on a children's show. He can't it's not be a children's butt movie. You already admonished me for letting my son watch it. Remember? Well, I'm going like this: teenagers. You can't do that for teenagers because this is rated R. That's eighteen on up, right? So you can't have teenagers seeing butt naked 
Flash running through the city saving a girl. It wouldn't look or, or, right. Or maybe they well, shouldn't you know have just wasted time with those doing, stupid right? lame just, jokes. Because with his arms, it was literally be like, you know what I mean? I you, admit, you guys guys really that one, how childish that on. sounds. You're like, his shoes explode, but his clothes stayed on. It's a comic no, book no. movie. Come See, on. Oh, oh. No, okay, so you just said that's science. And now you're saying it's a comic book movie. Yeah, yes, cool. you gotta have some. You gotta have some uh, disbelief going on, so you can just have fun. Don't tell me uh, science, then. Okay. <laughs> That's science. Say imagination. <laughs> it's imagination, because otherwise he'd be imagination. running out of his skin. That's literally why he created the suit that he did in the comics. It's supposed to re uh, reduce the friction that his they experiences, so that way clothes and all that stuff and his skin and he don't catch on fire. But Hell, they even did that. Not in the TV skin. show, That's they even did it's that. What think about skin. this? Who's fun. to say he was running full speed? He could have been running. It could have been a jog. For then she did. Then she dead. Fatal J, and that would have been a better scene. As cute as she is, she's dead. His way of jogging is super fast to us. Okay. Okay. And then, hey, Wes, five minutes from now, it's he's speed walking. Okay. <laughs> at, a very brisk, at, a, at a very brisk pace. Okay. Let me okay, say well, this. Let me say this. If if this movie was so bad, why is it the highest rated Zack Snyder DCEU movie? <laughs> because they were all bad? Because they were all shitty? No. This, it's okay. Bad, no. It's not a high bar to clear. It's in like I think it's, it's like seventy eight or seventy nine. Woo! Better than BBS. Way to go! It's a seventy seven on Ron. Why would you say that name? <laughs> all I got to say is this. I gotta say all I gotta say is this. It's better than Superman Returns. It's better than Man of Steel. Yes. Okay, I kind of like Superman Returns. Uh oh. You uh -oh. like Man of Steel more than hey. Superman Returns? I mean, Superman Returns more than Man of Steel? Yes, I no, do. I like, I I like, like Man of Steel Returns. more. Yeah. Huh? I'm, I'm, Jim. I, like, I like Man of Steel more. Oh, That's God. right. Pressure him into saying something he doesn't want to. Fatal because J. the boss and office why shows you just... that people threaten him while you're at it. The boss <laughs> trouble, office trouble shows that people like Schneider Cut more than the uh, uh, Superman office. Returns. Is it yeah. in the movie theater? What I'm, talk office? I'm talking about Man of Steel compared to the Superman Returns. The Snyder Cut Superman. People Adjusted. love that. Well, first of all, was that ingested for inflation, Fatal J? Or is that just an apples to apples? That comparison? wasn't freaking inflation because the movie came out a few years after it. How few years? Yeah, maybe like three or four years after the Superman Returns it came out. It, Superman Returns came out in 2006. Man of Steel came out in 2013. Wow, that's a, big, a little bit more than that, wasn't it? A little it's bit seven, more inflation that you're than seven than years. Internet. Okay, inflation. Maybe that was like two or three more dollars than usual, but still. <laughs> no, it was cents. <laughs> more cents. <laughs> Uh, Fatal J, uh, re remind me to cancel my RSVP to your financial course. Hey, <laughs> you, hey you don't want my course because I'm rubbing two pennies together right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which would actually be more entertaining to watch than this dumb movie. No, this movie is one of the best movies known to mankind history. It made Flash and uh, 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 Cyborg dope. Cyborg was Cyborg dope was already movie. dope. That was the only good thing about the Joss Whedon Justice League movie. He was hardly in that movie. In this movie, he, he was the heart time. and soul of the entire film, sir. Did you? Jimmy not was watch right. It? Heart and Jimmy. no. I thought you were saying. I thought you were. I thought you were saying. Uh, he was. I thought you were talking about Justice League. He was. Oh, yes, that's the one I'm talking about. Where he Cyborg was, was... heart and soul. I mean, he was in it for like what, fifteen minutes? What are you talking? Did you watch the movie? What? Yes, the Justice League. He wasn't in it that long. He wasn't in it that much. Jimmy is right. No, 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 no. Get it right. He wasn't in it as he much as he was in, as in, in this a movie. Hour movie. Right. <laughs> Okay, the he wasn't in it the, the same fraction. If Listen you put this. it in fraction, he was in it. He was still in it, a fraction of the fraction. Y'all don't understand. If we would have got another two, if we would have just got the two hour and a half, like the Justice League, y'all would have been complaining that the individual stories should have been I in there. I said Cyborg was good in the Justice League. Are you not listening to me, sir? This Are is you, what I'm saying. Actually not hearing the words coming out of my mouth. Do y'all understand? It's just as good 
if maybe a little bit worse than it was in the first. You know justice. why Justice League sucked? Justice League sucked because they didn't focus on the background of the characters. Of you the just story. said he sucked more in this movie than he did in Justice League. He was really good in Justice League. That was the only redeeming. No, he was really oh, good no, in wasn't. this. It was beautiful. Tell me that scene where he went through, uh, where he looked at the the woman waitress who's having financial trouble. It gave her, her two life, million dollars. It was a hundred thousand. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Where he committed wire, where, 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 where he committed wire fraud? That's yeah. no. He just created that, that, the money. He created the money like banks um, create money. All it is is numbers on a freaking computer. That's all he I, I, did. I, I, really. Again, let's not take Fatal J's financial no. courses, everybody. He doesn't understand <laughs> how, how, how they print work. their own money, and it's just it's gold. You know what I mean? He gave her that money and gave her a better life for her children, so she doesn't yeah. have to worry as much. He's You're telling me that didn't give you a smile on he your stole. face? I'm not he a big fan of even. Okay, but... so let me ask you something. If you had the power to create money. He didn't have the power to create money. He had the power to commit wire fraud. You wouldn't have gave. You wouldn't have gave. Y'all didn't watch this movie? You didn't want to see the party? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I wouldn't. I've got children. Thank you. Hold on. Did y'all literally not see the part in the own movie that y'all state that y'all love is one of the best movies in the history of mankind? Did you not see the part where it says he will have the power to do all these things? But he, but but his struggle will be not doing those things, and then he has a scene <laughs> where he does the thing that he said he's not supposed to do. Zack Snyder doesn't understand heroes. Did Y'all you know this. He, no, 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 no. He didn't you create wire fart fraud because he created the money. They showed it right there. He made the stacks. He made the stacks. Okay, that was Jay, Jay, I want you to Fatal do. Jay. Hold on, guys. He Fatal had bitcoins. He Hold had bitcoins. Fatal Jay, I want you to create a program <laughs> oh that in the digital world creates money from nothing. Give it to somebody so they can pull it out of a bank and spend it like it's real money and see if you don't go to prison. Eventually. That's bitcoin, sir. That's all he did. He that made the bitcoin. Dumbest. I, there's he a video made, on the channel tomorrow. Coin. We're going to talk he about made, bitcoin. <laughs> In depth, and I want you to watch it. He makes cyborg have coins. a better understanding of what Bitcoin is. He made and- cyborg bitcoins. Okay, <laughs> why no, would you he understand didn't that? His own bitcoins. <laughs> yes, he, he didn't mention so, his own bitcoins. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Then you're saying, he oh, he committed wire fraud, dude. He did. He breaks. He 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 breaks the rules all the time for the betterment of people. That's why we saw that when he was that's in Robin trouble. Hood, sir. That's Robin Hood, sir. That's hey, why hey, when he was in school like and he got that's in trouble. Like <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's Robin like Hood. Luthor. You never watch Robin Hood, Wes? Yeah, yeah, Robin yeah, Hood. The, yeah, yeah, he Robin in the hood. Yeah, I get it, because because that money came from somewhere. Like, why that lady is sitting fat in Costa Rica <laughs> sipping pina coladas. Me and Wes's family is up here like, dang, man, where all money go? Uh, what happened uh, to sure the value will. of the dollar? Well, some cyborg just started printing money and created massive amounts of inflation and ruined the economy. <laughs> but what is this single lady with her kids in, in Costa Rica? And she's just living it. She cashed in before it happened. Well, well thank goodness. I'm glad she I got her mind right. I hear Costa Rica has no tradition. I'm not going to listen to your lies. He made cyborg bitcoins, period, point blank. That's all I'm saying. I'm not listening to your lies. He would never commit. You do wild know that fraud. you can't just make Bitcoin, right? You don't just make Bitcoin and it's it's worth something. Like there's well, a process. Cyborg, cy he's the king of technology. He can create anything in the digital world. It's like the have you seen the Matrix, sir? They make guns out of the digital world. Okay, it's just like the Matrix. Listen, man, whatever helps you sleep at night. The fact that you're praising a criminal. Jimmy, didn't they do that in, in the Matrix, create guns and stuff out of nowhere, downloaded it into the system? They downloaded it into that's the computer system. program that doesn't, that's not reality. It's it's simulation. It's a simulated yeah. reality, not real yeah, it's different. reality. The what man different was in the, when you saw him walk into that temple and he saw everybody internet, he probably saw Fatal J watching some stuff he wasn't supposed to, <laughs> but this is the thing right here. He was in the digital world, which you can create digital currency. Why don't y'all understand get digital that? currency? She got real currency. Oh, <laughs> From an ATM machine, this got digital numbers in there. He didn't. He didn't take her 
what's what's the game that the that the, my my wife plays? The one where you you have the little bubbles. I'll ask you your wife. Give her a bunch of like <laughs> gems or something on her. Okay, it was a Candy Crush. crush. Yeah, okay, candy bro. Crush. When you, you when fill you, up her Candy Crush account, when you, you fill watch, up her account, there's when, a you, difference. when you watch the movie, remember you didn't get infinite free lives, Jay. Remember the digital world I had. He, <laughs> You remember the digital where I had the orange stuff all around it? It was implying that that was digital. He created the digital. So why would he take that from somebody Fatal account? J, let's just move away from that. No, I'm yeah, not yeah, ever yeah, going to hey, do hey, that because hey. I'm defending this movie. Jimmy, you give it in. You I know. My dad I, 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 with you. This. I love this movie, but... You, Cyborg is a no. criminal. I think we've proven. I feel that like point. Stone Cold okay. Steve Austin right now, and you and you supposed to betray me like Ric Flair. What's going on, man? <laughs> Come on, Batman's Batman's a criminal, but we still love him, so it doesn't even matter. Hey, shout, shout out to Zack Snyder for having Cyborg clear my my, my search history. <laughs> So the other hey, good thing it's a I'll dirty job. Is, Someone had to do it. <laughs> I have something else to say that's nice about this one. Wonder Woman kick, kicks an ample pa- amount of ass in this film, which was a nice ch- turn of events from Wonder Woman 84. So it was like nice to see her destroying people once again. Because Zack Snyder knows Wonder Woman. She's a fucking badass. Well, he had four hours to fit in a couple extra action scenes. That's what I'm saying. Four he hours was genius. Every movie should be four hours. No, <laughs> it was just the fact that the first movie didn't broaden out their story. Well, the no, story is the very important. Here's the problem, Fatal J. The, the, they never earned the first movie. When, you, when you're leading up to the first Avengers movie, how many movies are there? They're like 12? So we're talking over 24 no. hours of movie leading up to the first team up. You was it was one. not 12. It was like six. No, this, it was way more that, than six. No, it, no, it wasn't. Iron Man movies before the first event. No, the third right. Iron Man, the third Iron Man's after Avengers. Oh, yeah, you that's got right, two Iron Man out. movies, one Cap, get him, Jimmy. One Thor, then you had what? What else? Get him, Jimmy. Get him, Jimmy. The Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk. Yeah. And then you had Avengers. Avengers was the sixth movie. Oh, okay. So, so, so only, f- only five, only four more movies <laughs> than, than what but they if, did. If DC would have did it the Marvel out. way, y'all would have been complaining that they he, did it the Marvel way. His whole Not contract really. was that he was going to do three Justice League movies and have it like it, it doesn't matter. We could just have Justice League movies and set it up that way. You don't have to have all these preludes until we get to Justice League because that's how the Marvel Cinematic Universe did it. Exactly. Well, and you got to remember this, too. You, you, got to re- this. you got to remember this, too. We already had Man of Steel at the time. We got BVS. Wonder Woman had her movie, and now this movie. So you already had solo movies. The you only people, that, the only people that you needed to really just broaden out their story with Cyborg and Flash, because didn't nobody really know them. Aquaman too at the time, because we got to pretend that we didn't get um the Aquaman movie because we didn't that, get an origin thing. story for Batman either. If you don't remember, well, you can kind of say BVS, BVS was a Batman movie. Was it really? Was that an origin story for Batman, or is that Batman even being thrust into the Man of Steel universe? We don't. Okay, hey, no hold on, hold on. Fatal Fatal Jay. Jay. He was, Jay, he was on, literally old as hell in that movie. It can't be. It can't be an origin movie. The man was. The man was pushing geriatric age. He could. He could have went to IHOP and that's got not the, the senior point citizen of this discount. Universe. <laughs> the point of this universe was that he's an older, bitter man. No, my point. He's of, been of, through of, the ringer. Dark Knight Returns. Point of the universe. God, th- this is my point. They Not had to the cram so Batman. much stuff into this movie because they didn't take the time to flesh out the universe beforehand that it ended up needing to be four and a half hours just to make fucking sense. And that is the enormous flaw with the entire <laughs> film. No, but they, 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 let it, they gave it time to breathe and let the characters get fleshed out a little bit because you oh, did we, have hey. a lot of characters. Well, if it's breathing, give it a tic tac because it stinks. Yeah, no doubt. This Good like, one, Skip. You got me. Oh my goodness! Hey, they can't all be winners. That movie breathed too much. It's far too long. Wonder Woman kicking ass was good. Skip, do you have anything good to say about this film besides you know I've named off a couple of things I like. Did you like anything in particular? Skip didn't like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> how long do I have to figure this out? <laughs> um, yo, uh, 
I mean, Diana, Diana and Cyborg really were it. I mean, I, I'll give a little bit of props to, um, like, I, it's 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 weird because in in a way, I liked Aquaman a, a little less in this movie, and I think it's because I got to see him in his own movie, where they got, got to take more time to establish him in his backstory. Aquaman oh was God. a baller in this movie. I don't know. In the last Justice League movie, he was, he was just kind of a guy with a stick there. And this movie, he actually got to show off a little bit. Yeah, but he in, also the, in the Justice the movie, movie in the Justice Aquaman. movie, all he was doing was, all right, my man. My oh, man, bro. What do I yeah. want to hear Aquaman that? Aquaman was a moron. He was a dude, bro. No yeah. one liked him. Woo-hoo. Yes, ah, in Justice man. League, in this movie, he was more of like a character. He had background because remember when he went into the ocean, looked at the throne, and, and his advisor told him, "Hey man, you got to accept your destiny." We didn't get that in the other movie. Yeah, oh. but what about how much worse that scene looked like than in the Aquaman movie? Okay, I don't know. I don't. I think you're tripping because William Defoe looked way cooler in this movie. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I'm talking about the effects, the water effects. They look. The water effects was dope, man. You smoking stuff. What are you talking about, man? That's the that like, Are you going to accuse me of drug use every time I make a valid point, Jay, to deflect? <laughs> well, the, reason why, no the reason why I'm accusing you is because I do it. Now, this is the fact. <laughs> <laughs> people recognize other people right. that do the stuff they do, but this is what I'm saying. The water effects <laughs> look just like the one from Aquaman with Jay There were a lot of bubbles in this one, and they were annoying. We ain't talking about fish. We talking about humans under the water. We're talking about mermen who live We're talking about, we're talking about Atlanteans. Who speaks Thank to you fish. very much. Whatever. Atlanteans anyway, I'm trying to say something nice about the movie, but the movie's so <laughs> terrible that it always descends back into madness <laughs> because of how bad it is. But I will say the, the other thing that, that I did actually like, and I didn't like it as much as I thought. I, I had higher hopes for this, too. But I did like seeing uh, Darkseid do some damage, get in there, get his hands dirty, do some business, uh, you know, underwater, killing the Atlanteans and all that other stuff. I did appreciate how well they captured the um, the uh, anti the anti life or the beam, whatever you call it, the anti matter beam, anti life beams. beam, the omega oh. beams. Thank omega you. Beams. I, I li- yep, the omega beams. I I, I, I did omega like beams. how they captured that. Um, the alpha oh, beams. Really got it. The CGI was better than I anticipated after seeing the trailer. The what? The CGI was yeah. better than I anticipated after seeing the trailer. Oh, okay. That yeah, doesn't mean it's good, though. I'll say one thing I didn't like about it. And I'm going to say one I didn't like, too. I'll say, okay, I'll say this. I didn't like that it was six hours. It wasn't six hours. Yeah, actually, <laughs> when you bring it up, hell yeah, I wish it was longer. Uh, no, it's Wonder Woman kept saying, like, this is who Superman was. This is who Clark Kent was. She he didn't was, know it. That's my point. She met him for five minutes at the end of BVS, and then yeah. he died. You probably need Lois Lane explaining that, but in a Zack Snyder movie, that means that you know Bruce Wayne would have been putting the moves on her. You know what I mean? Bruce Wayne you and know, her you know had a good relationship, and I wish they were together. They should be together. Well, and what, I'm not saying Lois. No, no, Lewis? no. Bruce no, he's talking about with Wonder Woman. Yeah, Bruce Wayne, Wonder Woman. I, they was alluding it too. I don't think she's in the dudes, mouth. man. Really? Steve well, Trevor. Maybe Steve Trevor. Yeah. Okay, this is the thing here, man. Did, did y'all realize how um, Wonder Woman actually committed statutory R word with that well, dude okay. in Wonder Woman 84? Well, 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 we, we ain't talking about all that right now, Fatal J. All right. All right. We're, we're you not, said we're not talking about it. Deflecting, <laughs> as always. We're deflecting. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. The criticism of the movie. Okay, I, this is one thing I didn't like in the movie, I will admit. When the, she came into the, the museum or whatever that place was, and old boy was shooting the gun, and she slowed down like she was moving so fast, like the flash, and saw the bullet slowing down. I didn't like that because that made seem it seemed like she was on the same level of flash and speed. No, flash is fast, and wonder she is fast. She and did fast when man, she could see though. bullets moving slow. Yeah, because I, I know she can catch, she can block bullets with her little cuffs, but I didn't know she was so fast. That she can see bullets slowing down like that. How are how is she gonna stop a bullet with her cuffs if she's slow? Yeah. That's true, but they they made it Normally seem like she's like fast. She's deflecting bullets that are coming out of her, not bullets that are going across the room where she's sliding on her knees and. 
I also hated that that scene where like the the last bullet that was being shot and yeah. she like grabs the guy and moves him. She could have easily just blocked it. I didn't yeah. like the crap the um the crowd walking she was doing either the cr- the crowd walking when she was blocking the bullets like when he was spraying everybody. That the crowd walk awkward. is is when you're on your back. <laughs> well, you whatever the squat up. the squat walk or whatever. She was doing the squat walk. That looked kind of weird looking, but besides that, you know who the gunman in that scene one was, right? Oh yeah, he's a spectacular actor. Tywin Tywin Lannister. Yeah. No, that wasn't. That, that wasn't him. What? Oh yeah. That, that was not. Ty- that was not Tywin. <laughs> yeah, it's Tywin Lannister. That is no, not Tywin not. Lannister, sir. Tywin. You disrespecting Look, that dude, Mister Researcher? You, I think you should Look do your up. own research. That's your problem. You need to watch glasses while you watch this film. That's my life. <laughs> the problem is I probably needed to be interested. He said he gonna disrespect, he gonna disrespect Tyron Lannister like that, Jimmy. The dude that was in uh uh the golden child. That dude a spectacular actor. Game of Thrones. Yeah. What was his name again? I don't know, but he's spectacular though. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask something, Jimmy. Why do you want the only person who is truly hopeful throughout this whole ordeal? To, to get with the one guy that has damn near given up on life and is obsessed and weird and is not mentally balanced in this iteration of Bruce Wayne. Da- Diana deserves better than that. Come on, because bro. he realized at the end of BVS that he went too far. Re- he realized came back went, for that. Yeah, no, you know, he went that far in the opposite direction. You don't understand. And then came this all the way back. No, it's not about coming all the way back. It's about being centered. And that's what he's not. And that's what Diana is. Uh, she don't need to be looking after him and pick and like going around and, and t- tutoring this old man. I mean, I know she's older than him. Don't get me wrong. But at the same like, absolutely not. Like, come on, bro. Nah, that's not a ship that we need uh, in, in this universe. I don't, not, not at all. Come on. I don't know. I like him together. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds that's exotic right. to you. I get it. I get it. Pick a card, any card. See the future, Batman. I'm a swami. Ah, Dude, dude where's my makeup? Good, though. Who did my makeup? That that the uh, what was that? The the nightmare scenes were like some of the best. They were yeah, and and, and point and stupid man. He, he really had to make the this story. BBS, right? Yeah, yeah like exactly. the No, it's not. It's it's an addition too because the the next movie. Oh, you guys there? Yeah, if in the next movie. They were gonna lose. We're finally gonna get the, the, the finish of the, the nightmare scenes. Great, the they ne- were gonna take wait, what great they they were gonna take us into injustice. Cool. No, let it, me yeah, ask y'all a question. Them, acting skills, Ben Affleck. What do you think? Uh no. b- definitely definitely better in, in, in this version than in than him coming back bloated and drunk in the Justice League reshoots. Okay, Superman, Henry Calvin, what do you think acting wise? Oh gosh, I'm so like they he's they a mean obviously, Hyperion. He's a mean Hyperion. Okay, Nick. Uh Gal nice Gadot, mustache. Gal Gadot. They say you're supposed to pronounce it Gal Gadot. What yes, do you think about Gal Gadot? Gadot? What All as right. Wonder Woman? She's no, she's no Natasha Romanoff. What you gonna do? Okay, Flash. Air, awful. This oh is gosh. Oh, get him out cyborg, of here. Cyborg right. acting. What do you think about Cyborg? It was Pretty good. good. I was shocked. shocked okay, what do you think about Dark Side? Dark Side as a villain. He's not as good as is. Uh, yeah. What's his dick from? The is he good or not good? No, no. no. We, we not really as good have- as yeah, Josh Brolin, though, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy, they basically saying he was good and don't want to admit it. Stephen Wolf as a villain. Awful. Terrible. Boring. Okay. Better than in the Josh. We now, you, you just forgot realized. Jay- you forgot Jason Momoa. You forgot Jason Momoa. Oh, yeah. Jason Momoa as Aquaman. What do you think? Is that it? Cool. It sounds sound like y'all secretly like this movie. Nah, not really. We just, Jimmy no just left on it. it. Mic drop. I never said that the problem with the movie was the acting. I said it was the story. I think I've maintained that all along. I've said Zack Snyder doesn't know how to write or direct an actual movie about heroes. He messed up a movie about owls, man. That were supposed to be heroes. You don't like Guardians? For kids. No, I don't like Guardians. That's actually probably his dopest movie is Guardians. 
it's no, not it's Dawn, Dawn of the Dead. Of the dead. Yeah. What What about three hundred? No, I hate that. I mean, probably three hundred was rad. Nah, I mean, you didn't like. Okay. I just don't like it. Hey, you didn't hey, like the, watch me. Hey, 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 hey! The only no. part I liked is this. This is Martha. <laughs> <laughs> my only fa- my favorite part of three hundred is uh, only Sparta Spartan women will know what it's like to give birth to real men. I think that's like yeah. the best line. Otherwise, I could give that movie away. I thought it sucked. The I ending, don't like the, though, the ending, the last monologue was beautiful. It was poetry. You don't the last get a re- cool. you don't get a redeem an entire movie with with a monologue. So. Yeah, that's fa- that's fa- yeah, so. you can you can especially I, when the movie was good. I was cool with it. I I, I do like three uh, personally. I do like three hundred, but I don't love three hundred. And after like a, a years after watching it, you know, like like years later, it 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 has lost a lot of luster and it doesn't hold up Sin as City well. City is about a billion times better, but it had a real director, so it makes sense. Sin City was Ro- Ro- Robert Rodriguez. What? Yeah. Now, Jimmy, I'm going to have to fight you on that one, sir. <laughs> Sin City is trash? That's like yeah, the best comic it, book. Yeah. That's like the best comic book movie ever because it's actually a comic book movie. It is. Uh, right. And it's way better, and, and, and better than Justice They even took the lines from the comic book and put it in the script, Jimmy. Yes. Okay. Okay. Listen to this. Three hundred is almost word for word. Three is is the is the comic, and also they made it beautiful to watch. And also, Watchmen is almost I, panel I for panel that. the I comic book. I understand that, Jimmy. But Jimmy, you just said you didn't like Watchmen, Sin City. Sir, you so. said Sin City was trash. Mm-hmm. Man. That's just to make me join this team and fight you. <laughs> He's going Rick Flair on your ass. Hey, I'm just, I'm just the Rick Flair betray you for saying this, sir. <laughs> no, it, it, just, it felt too much. It felt too much like comic book movie. I was like too much comic book, and Listen, I was like, I'm not thinking. Say that about the first Incredible Hulk movie where Ang Lee was trying to incorporate comic book paneling, and it was stupid. I'll give you that, but it it was executed perfectly in Sin City, like perfect. That's, I mean, they even had like, the same poses in the comic book. Yeah. I like. Yeah, you, if you're looking for a direct comic adaption, like a direct, direct, it don't get no closer than Sin City. Yeah, that one's perfect. That's good. But again, Zach's not the Justice League. Zach, the boss, the king. Thank you so much, sir, for coming down to Earth and blessing us with your work. My goodness, Jimmy. Mike dropped Jimmy. Back. Jimmy had to leave. He had to leave. No, it's just like my, I'm having internet. I problems. think his internet went out. He came back on his phone, and then his I internet did. came back, and he switched over to his computer. Hey, 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 hey Wes. Hey, Wes. Maybe they should, uh, I don't know, call Cyborg, tell him to go fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he can hook you up with some illegal internet, maybe some cable that you're not paying for. Hey, up, why are you calling me out? Satellite. It's not like I don't already do that. <laughs> <laughs> or his fellow Jay say, why don't you just make up, make me some Bitcoin? <laughs> oh, that's how it works, okay. I will make you a Bitcoin. Jimmy, There's what is no your prospect. rating? Jimmy, what is your rating for the Snyder Cup movie? Oh, it's it's got to be like a, a 95. Out of 10? No. <laughs> no, no a 9.5 out of 10. I was thinking like on a Rotten Tomato scale out of like 100. Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. Uh, I give it a, either 8.0 or 8.5 because I still like Man of Steel better. Uh you like Man of Steel better, really? I like Man of Steel better, yes, sir. That's oh, you like Man movie. of Steel, really? That's my favorite superhero movie. You like Wes, really? Hey, everybody. Like, <laughs> I'm an acquired taste. It's fine. Skill, I see how you're looking at me. I know what you're thinking. I'll give it a five or six out of ten. I, I haven't quite finished it yet. Like I said, my son did break into tears, and I wasn't able to finish the film. Because the movie was, was too long. Kids can't wait filler. like that. It's too much filler. He, he want to see Peppa Pig. It's not That's filler. The... Yo, he son, said, Daddy, see no more filler. I want to watch the CW verse. Look, so, your okay. kid can watch hours worth of Peppa Pig, not know Zack Snyder's Justice You don't know League. my son. He does not watch Peppa Pig. He watches I, My little Spongebob. nephew come over here, and I, I don't even have to babysit him. I just turn on Peppa Pig for three hours on YouTube, and I could go to uh, Mars and back, and he's still there. Ooh. I even know the thing, so ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> I know Spongebob because that's what my son is in a Spongebob phase. Yeah, he ain't gonna be wanting to watch those. He don't even want to watch that's too complicated for a kid's mind. Okay, listen, we Hold watched on, Fatal the Jane. Flash together and he loves the Flash. Because so that's superhero. You talking about CW? Uh, 
That's baby stuff. The only of good CW show of is Superman and Of course he's going to be liking that stuff. Reverse Flash baby stuff? You talking about Zoom, son? So, so you're going to act like CW off? is the best. You acting like CW is the best? That's I'm the most cheesy stuff known to man. Uh, see, see, Jimmy, he can see. Uh-uh. The only good on, bro. The, old, uh, hey, hey, hey. the only good CW show. Only one. Superman and Lois. That's the what? only good that, one. That oh, show is so much in the now. Like I know. No, that, that show is dope. You're 20 years old. Jimmy. Because you're still in the now, sir. No, that no, show is dope. No, no, no. no. Oh, you cannot think about perspective, sir. I what, what, I watched every uh, single th- every single one when they come out, and I did not like uh, what was that? Black Lightning. I didn't like pretty Black much Lightning Batwoman. I didn't like pretty much any of The only Man, one I really liked. You're not talking Superman. about any of the good ones. Let's I liked Arrow season one and what about two. Of the mall? After it's Arrow it's season it's two came out, where's it Smallville? Was- that doesn't count. That's not part of the Arrowverse. Yeah, that's not CW. It's CW? Said, no, it is CW. He didn't say Arrowverse. He said CW. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Smallville was good. Smallville, Smallville, Smallville was good. Smallville was good. And you it, can't act like after Arrow, the first three seasons, it wasn't hot doo doo trash because you know it was. After the first two seasons of Arrow, after the first it went down. 10 minutes of Jack, Zack Snyder's Justice League, I checked out. At least I got three full yeah. seasons of Arrow and three full seasons of Justice League before they crapped the bed. That's because you already made your mind up in your head. You already made your mind up in your head. You already made your mind up. You went in with a closed mind. How were you going to try to like enjoy a movie with a closed mind? Yes, I, I, I went to Justice League on opening night with my buddy James and their kids. You know, because they had adopted me when I was in Texas. We all have our faults, and that's I wanted to see a movie I didn't like. That's what it was. Wes, let me ask you the question. Let me ask you this question. If you had a choice, you only had two choices to watch this movie for eternity. Would would it be Zack Snyder's Justice League or Last Jedi? (laughs) So... Last Jedi. You threw out a good one. (laughs) I'm That's taking right. Last Jedi. I'm taking Last Jedi. You I'm taking just, Last I'm, Jedi? I'm, I'm, I'm taking Did Last you, Jedi. You must really hate this movie, bro. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> the Zack Snyder I do. Justice League movie is exceptionally dark. There's no levity to it whatsoever. There's a couple of jokes. None of them hit because they're all kind of based on Barry Allen Flash stuff. That Ezra Miller is awful. There are jokes in The Last Jedi that are at least funny. It is not overwhelmingly dark. I do hate it on par with, with Justice League, and it's a lot shorter. Which one uh, would you take, man? You, I don't want to be a perpetual nightmare. I guess it's got to be The Last Jedi, but I, that's... Yeah. Y'all talking about, really, there's no hey, way. There's no you way know what? There. I was trying and, to... And make, it's shot better, too. It's shot better, and, and the CGI nice. is way better. Jimmy. Yep. Jimmy. No one in Hollywood shoots a better shot than Zack Snyder. Jimmy. I got to admit it. They must no, really don't like this movie to say they rather watch Last Jedi instead. I have I to agree. I have a better to agree. movie, but you were talking something that is this dark in comparison to something that's pretty light. I don't want to be, you know, sit there and, you know, and rip forever just seeing something this dark. Now, it would, yeah, my, exactly. It would be very depressing. Yep. You know what's depressing? Press- you wanting to watch Last Jedi over. For the Snyder Cut. I don't want to watch either. Oh, 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 yeah, over a movie that's depressing. It like it's literally so dark Ow. that majority of the movie is literally dark tinted, like very low light. Like that, there's that, like there's not a lot of vibrancy in it at all. So yeah, if I'm stuck on something, I would rather something where there's a balance, uh, like something where I actually get some sort of light, some sort. Of I'd rather watch instead of this hopeless dark universe. I'd rather watch this than Requiem for a Dream. How's that? I never well, seen that. Well, hell yeah! But oh my god, you never seen Requiem for a Dream? Oh my gosh, oh. it's it, it, it's basically a movie about junkies, like you know, like descending Fair into, right. yeah. yeah, and it's oh gosh. But I like but, movies like, just about because junkies. a movie's dark does not mean it's bad, guys. Come on. I didn't say we, that. We didn't but say I don't that. want to watch no, it. He, no, the, you're saying that was the reason you don't want to watch no, it. No, I could understand that though, because they said they want a, a more lighthearted for eternity. Yeah. If they had you to watch, go watch Marley and Me and then get back. Marley Why? and Me is a good movie. It's about a puppy. 
Yeah, Marley and Me. Is I know. Good. I'm saying that's a lighthearted movie. I'd rather watch that than Justice League. What are you yeah, doing easily. here? I'd rather watch it than Last Jedi. What, what's your problem? That's the point. Okay, never mind. Points yeah, gone. Thank you for making my point, sir. <laughs> it's like, Justice yes, League. Watch the Justice League movie is is one of the best superhero movies of all time. It's a, the probably the biggest fan service. No one else is going to do. I promise you. Well, okay, hold on. Cause think uh, about it. When end game was just movies? all fan service. Yes, in game was fan service. It wasn't. It was heck of fan service, but it wasn't all fan service. But it was no, a no, fan exactly. service. Absolutely. It wasn't all and fan service. And that's what you do. Uh, that's what you. Yeah, point. it was. And, and that's what you do. What once you make twenty something movies and, and your fans support you, you earn you it. Say hey, you this is a moment. thank you to you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this movie was a thank you to the fans as well. It was a thank you. Well, <laughs> it wasn't a thank you to me. I got a question. <laughs> it was like, here, look. I don't... <laughs> right, exactly. It wasn't, though. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a comic book movie fan. It wasn't a thank you to me. It was, it was torture. <laughs> hey, here, here, look. This is how much I don't care about you. I'm going to make you sit up in a self-indulgently long movie that I didn't add much more no depth loop. to, just more length to. Yeah, and I'm going to give you no... Vaseline, why you do it? Why I do it. <laughs> but this is the thing, though. Y'all keep saying it's a long movie. You didn't have to watch all the movie, it was set up in chapters like a book. So we you were set up say, to do the review here today, Jay. I had a finite timeline and I couldn't even get it. Done. But I'm just saying, nobody is putting pre pressure into watching all six chapters, seven chapters. You could just sit to part two or three and say, Hey, I'm through for the day. It's and a movie, come, hey, it's not a season. It's not right. broken up into individual story arcs I, that make I one think big the story. reason why they broke it up like that, it was supposedly supposed to be like then oh, they watch it, they okay. said, you know what, you really can't watch this as individual episodes. It's just right. one movie. Right, right, guys. Guys. right before guys. it goes to another chapter. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Me and Wes were talking about this before y'all joined in, before we got started. If y'all remember we're what really because yeah, we, we, uh, yeah, yeah, we were pre -gaming. But remember when it when it because remember we heard all those rumors and like oh okay it might be and then remember when they officially said okay hey here's the press release it's gonna happen and all that stuff when when they talked about the initial rollout because they were trying to uh, avoid churn that whole people you know signing up for the trial and then dipping out after the content they said it is going to be four hours we're gonna release it in four different episodes one each week that's what they initially said in the press release when you look it up i think that it wasn't but it wasn't done at that time that it wasn't the, the initial runtime. it was not in the initial press release and then it actually came out later after it came uh, after uh they okay said so it came out later hold on hold on hold on but the, here, the point remains they watched they finished they finally finished it they watched it and they said for the average person this is not coherent enough for them to be able to continue the story based off of where it left off last time. So we're just going to nope. put it all together and release it as one nope. whole chunk. I it actually, was actually watched it. I watched it, was it actually Zack I, I Snyder out. who said that he wanted to split it up into four parts, but then he said it would have gotten a little too confusing if they tried exactly, to do that. Exactly. Uh, exactly what he just said. <laughs> right. That's what no, he said. It was the studio. He said it was the studio. It was Zack Snyder. And Zach Snyder, it don't matter wasn't. who it was. You could say it's Zack Snyder. You could say it was the studio. Guess what? When they released it, they reneged on what they stated that it was going to do officially through channels from them. They reneged on that for the reason that you said that I said before you said it. Dang, that was almost as convoluted as this story. <laughs> it's the Snyder cut. That was the skipper cut. Okay, this is a skipper cut of this conversation. Hey, we're at, they actually did because on. they knew it was incoherent, Jimmy. That's what I'm trying to tell you now. Now, let me finish what I was going to say. As someone who reads a lot of stories and writes stories, and I like anthology stories, wink to my man Jimmy over there. Oh, I I did watch it in chunks because I couldn't sit through all of the darkness. I even put up in a in a, a Ash on Comics um uh Discord. I said. Uh, hey, I watched two and a half hours of this and I can't take it anymore. I have to turn on major pain to wash this taste out of my mouth. I needed something to make me laugh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One tub it, tub it. You want two tub it, tub it. That's a classic movie, man. That's a classic movie. That's a classic movie. That's a classic movie. Let me see your finger. You might feel yeah, a little pressure. Hey, hey, quick side, quick, 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 quick side note. 
Um, everybody says I look like Damon Wayans and even more so now because I got the ball head. But when I was in home ec in high school, oh, my do, teacher, bro. my teacher said that she said, you remind me of Major Payne. She crossed out my name, put Major Payne. And when she did roll, if I did not answer to Major Payne, she would literally mark me absent. What? Hey, hey have y'all ever seen, I'm going to tell y'all a superhero movie that came out before the superhero movies that starred Damian Wayans. You Hold on. Blank man. Blank man. Blank man was dope. Blank, blank, blank. It was. <laughs> it was dope. It was dope. Let's not go too far, but it was fun. Now, here's the real question was, that we need to ask. Here's, here's a, here's a question we need yeah. to ask. Since the okay. Snyder Cut is now out and all this is done, F Fader J, what the hell are you going to do with your channel, dude? Oh, I'm going to do some dope <laughs> stuff. Uh, I'm going to do reviews. I'm going to do reactions. Uh, He's I'm still, retrospective. He's going to cover the history of the Snyderverse. I'm still going <laughs> to do. I'm going to still do uh, news like movie news and all that type of stuff. It's going to be the same thing, just not it's not a cut heavy anymore. Just, uh, I'm going to okay. go into the Goyer cut now. Is that what it is? Or is that <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do DC news. Might even sprinkle a little Marvel news in there. I, just like what I did with Snyder Cut when every time some Snyder Cut news came out. I would just report it. Hashtag know, so. restore the Snyderverse. Uh, hey, uh, uh, on that note, restore the quick, Snyderverse. Um, IMDb eight point seven uh, or eight point five out of ten. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes seventy seven percent currently. Metacritic fifty seven percent. Metacritic sounds about right. Yep. What, what was Rotten Tomatoes? Seventy seven percent. That's high coming from Neil. That is right. That, exactly. So that lets you know, like they're trying. Exactly. People are trying to be nice about this movie. A the lot of people who hated BVS ended up liking this movie. Oh, I mean, well, that's fine. Good for them. Um, oh, also, well, that was the other thing I, can, I didn't I can like always about it. Understand. Excel. Oh gosh, terrible score. That score. I can, was just I can always understand why people didn't like BVS. I could, I could truly understand that. I'm Mark gonna tell that. you why. I'm gonna tell you why. The Delta Superman is its own movie. It should have been its own trilogy or own two-parter. Definitely. I didn't even like Doomsday. I never did understand why the confrontation should have stayed Batman and Superman throughout the whole movie, just like Dark Knight Returns. I never understood why they put Doomsday in there. I will always say that. I would say that to Zack Snyder if he was right in front of me. Why did you put Dark uh, Doomsday in that movie? He was not needed. I will tell you exactly why. Because he is so good at filming funerals. He needed to kill Superman, or he thought he did. And so he put that in there. Yeah. That sounds like a Zack Snyder reason. I will say yeah. one other good thing before I say one other bad thing about it. Uh, the good thing, definitely didn't notice terrible Jesse Eisenberg or or, uh, or Jesse Luthor or Lex Eisenberg as much in that movie. So that that like I'm glad that they kept that to a to a minimum. That was that was a a, a blessing. In, in, people, in don't under, opinion. people don't understand Jesse Luthor as much, man. His his whole thing was. If there, if there was a Luther in today's society, it would probably be like an internet typhoon, like kid who's like in his like typhoon? late twenties, like a weather, he's like an internet weather <laughs> device. It was going on. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm gonna have to go get you on this one again because uh, they should have went with Brian Cranston, which was the original actor they wanted for uh Liz Luther. He would have killed the boy. Actually, he would have, but I, there's actually the guy who played the uh, the. Uh, the Hornet or something in Ant Man. Uh, oh, third... that dude is dope too. I didn't think about that. The bald guy. Yeah, the bald guy that he fought in the first movie. Yeah, yeah, he would yeah. be perfect. He he. Brian Cranston be would have been better though. Yeah. Brian yeah. Cranston is always better. We're, we're over an hour into this. People could, are only going to be able Man, to take so much of an hour. That was long. Just... Hold on, wait. Let's go four hours. hours. Let, let, let's yeah, go four hours, hours, right? Let's Why not? Hours. But then we're going to do the fatal cut. That's Skip's last word, Jimmy. In a minute or less, last words. Uh, I love the movie. I hope anyone who watches this should just go in open minded, have fun, and if if you don't like it, oh well. There you go, Fatal J. One minute or less, last word. Uh, I told Wes uh last week Saturday when I seen the movie, he probably not gonna like the movie. 
because it's, it's pretty much have that same aura to it. Uh, but like I said, I'm a Zach Schneider fan. I loved it. Is uh, the fans received this? They've been fighting hard for 2017 <laughs> since 2017. I'm glad it's here. If we don't get nothing else from Zach Snyder concerning the DCEU, I'm glad we got this movie. Uh, we can move on. Boom. Thank you. That's cold blooded, Skip. What's Skip doing with the seconds? What are you doing? <laughs> He's got you so I just want to say I'm glad the people that wanted the Snyder cut, they made enough noise that they got the movie they wanted. That's great. I'm glad Zack Snyder got to return and put out the movie that he intended to put out apparently all along. And, and so I think that all worked out in the end. I'm just glad it's over. The DCEU can move on and they can go and make a real DCEU. Zack Snyder can move on and go make movies that he actually wants to. Hopefully not about super, superheroes, but you know, now that I know uh, his flavor of superhero action, I probably won't be revisiting it. So that is our I don't know if this was a review. Was this a was this an argument, a debate? It was probably this was a all debate. <laughs> it wasn't really I would say a review. Jabrones, the, the super jabronis over here probably lost quite a bit. We already know who won, powers. and it's us, right? It's us. Woo! Come on, Fatal. Yeah. Fatal Woo! J did a Ric Flair heel turn on you, and yeah, that there you go. So we'll we'll talk to you later. Maybe we'll do this again sometime. If you want us to talk about another movie, but not go an hour, obviously, uh, let us know. Maybe we'll do a Saturday comic debate every week. I don't know. Later, y'all.